The schedule I'm looking at is the construction of a single family home. If I go down, I see that each task has a different color according to the resource. In this case, the resource represents the different traits. If now I assign a certain resource to a task, it will automatically be colored according to the trait. In the beginning of my schedule, I see that I have some tasks that haven't been assigned. For example, if I take that one, which is the delimitation of the construction site, I'm going to say that this is going to be performed by the mason. And we will see now what happens. And we see that it is the mason and it has automatically be colored in that clear yellow. This is Christian from Vision 6D. I bring my expertise in project management to level up your skills and assist companies. The use of color coding makes it easier to read the schedule and it's easier also to know when which trade is intervening. If you are thinking building a house, this schedule will be very useful. It will show you the different stages of construction and foresee the different works. The top part here is the timeline that represents the macro stages of the construction. What we are interested in is how to automate those color changes. If I look down here, I see that the tile setter, they don't have a specific color. So the first thing to do is now to go to resources. We see on line two, the tile setters. We see that no group is defined. I will define the group tile setter. I will now go back to the Gantt chart. I will select the custom fields and the type of field that interests me are the one defined as flag. And you see that there are already quite a lot of flags which are defined. They are all the other traits that will automatically be colored. So I choose here the next flag which is available, which is flag 10. I rename it to tile setter and now I'm going to change the formula for this one and I'm going to say that whenever it equals tile setter that it takes the actions just say OK here, everything is just fine. Now, I will come again into the pane of the Gantt chart and I will choose here the bar style. And the bar style, you see that it's where we can define how we want the different events to be represented. And by going down here, you see that we find again all the other traits that I had defined. So what I will do here I will here define tile setter the color that I will choose here down is a brown color like tiles and I will associate this with the flag 10 and now here we can see that if I say OK, I go down and we will see that the tile setter have now that brownish color. To check what we've done, I will come here where we are doing the exterior terrace and I will insert a task which will be gluing the tile. I'll, I will give it a five day duration and set the same predecessor. So we see that it is blue here for the moment 
and as soon as I will define here the tile setter, we'll see the change. So this is it. If you are in the process of building a house, this file will surely be really helpful. You have now a new method to improve your planning, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.